Hey everyone, on this episode of Minis, I wanted to talk about one of the most consistently underplayed champions in League of Legends history, and that champion is Anivia. Outside of Season 1 and a certain bird lover, Anivia has rarely seen play at basically all levels of play. And I think this is because she has her share of problems. She has poor range, high mana costs, slow projectiles, a really high skill floor, and really high skill ceiling. But Despite all this, she's actually quite good. Anivia was the first DPS-style mage in the game. Although she kind of pales in comparison to Cassiopeia and Ryze now, she still has very high consistent damage due to her Glacial Storm and low cooldown Frostbite. And she also happens to be a very strong control mage. What I wanted to talk about was her ultimate, Glacial Storm. In general, most champions spike really hard at level 6, obviously because they get their ultimate. But Anivia, I would argue, spikes harder than a lot of them. Sure, a lot of them get really good damage, but I think that Glacial Storm is a little bit above average. Glacial Storm gives her insane wave clear, zoning, and damage, and a lot of potential plays that she can make. A well-placed ultimate will not only slow and damage all enemies, but set up her other abilities extremely well too. This kind of synergy is what makes Glacial Storm so powerful and dangerous. A kind of crude comparison may be Orianna or Syndra, their Q abilities set up their other abilities, while well, Glacial Storm does that for Anivia. So first of all, talking about Glacial Storm, the ability can help you wave clear really, really hard, whether it's offensively or defensively. Both work. If you're familiar with CLG EU from back in the day, one of the reasons why their games were so heavily extended to the 60 to 70 minute mark, or even longer, was because of Anivia's Glacial Storm's turtling power. You can't push if you don't have minions, and that's what Glacial Storm does. It clears a ton of minions very quickly. In fights, Glacial Storm should be used either before or after Crystallize, her W, the giant wall of ice. If you use Glacial Storm before, you can crystallize enemies more easily because of the slow and because they'll try to avoid the AoE of the storm, making it much easier to anticipate their movements so you can wall them off. If you use Glacial Storm after Crystallize, you can either drop the storm onto the enemies that are walled off by Crystallize, you can deal some massive AoE damage and apply the CC, or you can basically cut off the entire battlefield by walling off one side and dropping the storm on another. This is a really crucial part of Anivia's role as a control mage. A well-placed Crystallize and Glacial Storm will almost always result in kills or flashes being burnt. Since Glacial Storm has a relatively long cooldown in teamfights, 6 seconds is a pretty long time for teamfights. You really only have one or two uses of it, so you really need to place it well. Placing it on the enemy frontline can slow or stop initiations. Placing it after the enemy initiates could deter their backline from advancing. Anivia's positioning in a fight is somewhat in the middle or closer to the front because of her short range, so placing it on yourself or further back in the backline can deter assassins or tanks from jumping in onto you. The coolest trick with Glacial Storm, though, is using it with Frostbite. That's pretty obvious, isn't it, since Frostbite deals double damage to chilled enemies? But, since Frostbite has an awful projectile speed, you can actually cast it first and then cast Glacial Storm afterwards, and the double damage will still apply because your ultimate is instant. This is how Anivia harasses enemies in lane after level 6. This makes it almost impossible for her enemies to approach her without losing a chunk of health. The only things you need to be careful of are crowd control effects that will cancel your ultimate channel. If Glacial Storm goes down, you're going to be very vulnerable for a few seconds. Basically, Glacial Storm is a crucial setup tool for almost every situation. It's such a powerful and versatile ultimate that is greatly underestimated because it doesn't instantly chunk people for a lot of damage. But sometimes, dealing more damage over time and increasing the potency of the rest of your kit is what you really want in a champion. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.